I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. Despite her flashy looks, why do you say that? Hmm. Eh, let's we'll go with she, she is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm. Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Isn't it quite literally like here? Oh. Maybe it's down here. There we go. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? Oh, I'll try. Michael and fire, a great combination. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Damn, they're really re-airing that shit. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Makoto's inner conflict is, uh, it's always oh, interesting. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady An. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. It took you four hours to set up your PS3? You haven't used it since 2015? Damn. I've, uh, I've only used a PS3 once, personally. Well, for one use, I guess. And it wasn't even my PS3. I used it to play and record through the original Nier. That was a that was a lot of fun. A pain in the ass to record though. It's not as easy as uh, with like a PS4 or Switch or anything. She's asleep already. What the fuck? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. 
I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. Yeah, Nier's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Um, but if you don't want to get the PS3 version, uh, actually, I think at this point, I would wait for the remake or remaster or whatever they're doing of Nier. I think that'd be more worth it. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. By the way, Speed Reader becomes unlocked in July. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. That is, uh, very quotable, Yusuke. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Flashback time? Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... <laughs> this is bullshit? Shut up. You're done for. Yusuke makes me mad with how dra overdramatic he is. He is overdramatic, but I love him still. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. It's as she says, also. Make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Now that's fucked up. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to get revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. 
That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hmm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again! Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? Yeah, I was going to say, they've been doing this shit for a while. Call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. God damn it. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Why only say it to him? What about Yusuke? What about us? Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Don't worry, Morgana. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. Han's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She's breathtaking, I'm not sure. She's a great teammate. Now we'll go with the top one, why not? Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? Yes. I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... hmm. Still... Why does Morgana say I won't be able to join you in the bathhouse? Uh... I don't know. I mean, he literally can't because he's a cat. I don't know where- I don't know what he would be up to. Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? Ah, I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again 
early next week. I'll uh, I'll contact everyone. How how hot can you get a tub? Ooh. Check out these picks. Ooh. Ah, uh, hell yeah, dude. The steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Wait, yeah, it did. Damn. Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture and Akira's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Akira's place, right? Not go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course, I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. All I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. Yeah, it says check out these pics, but there's only one picture. Yeah, there's like nothing else. What the fuck, man? Alright. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, I thought I saw something else. You gotta be careful with, um... With Mishima's text. You gotta make sure that you actually go through all of them. Make sure you don't miss one. Don't miss a request or anything. We cannot do anything, can we? Let's turn in for the night. How's it going, Yusuke? Did something happen? Yeah, yeah. Well... Good night. There's another... There's another dude in the room. The prisoner has returned. Yeah. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. No. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Kawakami's ranked to 10. I will try. I think I was able to in my first playthrough. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now that we got those guts, we can actually work on her confidant. Hell yeah, now we can hold 10 personas. All right. It's almost time. I wish I could just sleep and not have to go to another world. Unfortunately, life is just not that fair. What the hell's going on here? Ah, uh, okay. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I like his voice actor, or at least the voice acting that's done for his character. It's really smooth. I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. 
See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. God damn, dude. Why does everyone get on my case? Well, you know. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I think I cut him off there. My bad. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. Yeah, I feel bad for Makoto, like... I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? Like, Makoto gets shit on so much in this part of the game, but... You know, based on her actions... I mean, what else do you expect? But you can't... you can't help but feel bad. My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because... He reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. You got that right. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. That was a nice scene. Hey! You're finally awake. He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. I mean, it was a long night. I guess, you know, Sunday is a day off. You You're finally up. You know it's past noon. And that kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. Imagine Sojuro as a phantom thief. Dude, I'm all for it. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. And I actually, like... You know, do something today. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojuro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Well, you, you heard it here first. Hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, I think that's for the- I guess that's best. Yeah, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. 
I wonder if it's because he got caught up with those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The Post said that he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way, the police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm. If they target restaurants. Ah, what if we drew them into LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. No. <laughs> yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way. I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information whenever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Hey! Shouldn't you tell the other- Yeah, yeah. I know, the whole mementos deal. I mean, yeah, we've got- Well, we have four. But three of them are the ones that we can do. Actually, wait a minute. No, we can actually do four? What the fuck? No way. I thought we only had three. Damn. Well, I'm kind of waiting to see if we can, you know, get a name or an ID or whatever on this other guy that we're now hearing about. Mishima told me about a tyrannical female student. Okay, not that. I gathered information on the troublemaking old man. Not that. Gathered information on the cat abductions. Not that. I found the leader who towers above other bullies. Definitely need to do that one. Okay, but like... I'm, I really want to wait on this one before we go in, so I don't, like, waste a day or, or anything like that. Maybe we don't need to. I don't know. I'm just trying to be cautious. Hey, hey. Let's give this plant some fucking nutrients. Nice. Kindness is the way to go. Yes. Definitely uh, need that. Oh, talk to me. What can we do today? We can hang out with On, hang out with Takami. I'd probably want to hang out with On. You know, the confidant definitely matters. I should write something. Are you going to be playing Persona 5 Scramble? Yeah, if it comes to the West. But right now, I don't know if they have plans for that. I heard that they put out like a survey, but that's pretty much it. A survey to see if people were interested in it coming to the West. And yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd love to have it in the West. What do you want? But whatever. Let's drink our kindness juice. And... Today we're all about kindness, it seems. Nice. I guess we should. Uh... I guess we should go and return our DVD. It is. I don't know if I saw any absolute confirmation. It would be weird if it didn't come to the uh, come to the West. Like it would be really out of the ordinary if they just didn't bring it here. But I mean, come on, they brought the uh, the dancing game that I spent a lot of money on. All right, what do we need now? So there's charm, kindness, and proficiency. We really don't need proficiency right now. But, I'm all about that kindness. Definitely all about it. Um... I, yeah, I guess we'll just, uh... I guess we'll just hang out with On. Fuck it. Let's see, where is she at? I think she's in the underground mall. Yep, there she blows. I mean, there she is. Hiya. I don't know, uh... Oh, wow, we can get more confidant points with her. I don't... Yeah, what? <laughs> rank four, okay. Yeah, I feel like if we rank her up, everyone will be pretty much around five-ish. 
that we've been focusing on, which I think is good. I definitely want to work on everybody. Not necessarily keep them around the same rank, but For real? obviously keeping the ranking going. I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now. Hmm. Oh, but I probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I really want one, though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one, too? Maybe. In that case, I'll buy two. Oh. oh, I guess she might have rehab today, too. They probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Shiho started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I wanted to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard, too. I haven't, really, I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Oh, hold on. What? Now? Uh, that's not good. Sorry. Something just came up. That was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap up soon, so I'm gonna head over to fill in. Let's go! That's pretty close though. Wanna come with? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. The energy this woman has is ridiculous. We arrived at the meeting spot. It looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. I'm gonna be buying Persona 4 soon once I beat Persona 3. Sounds good, man. Again, like, I really, really enjoy Persona 4. Sure, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of differences going from Persona 5 down to Persona 4, or even Persona 3. But they're, I would say, very enjoyable. I definitely need to really get into 3, though. On Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just... Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Right. It really wasn't a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika. And please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience on Senpai. Alright, Mika. It feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use Senpai with me. Uh, anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Anshan. You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routines, stretches. Huh? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quin quinoa? Let's roll with that. Do I need to like boil it in hard wire? Hard, hard wire? Hard, hard water or something, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Isn't it kind of tough to boil ice? Do you weigh yourself? Uh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. So you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. But that's not it. I just don't really think about all that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is like a hobby for me. What? On, senpai. That's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, Anshan? Wait, I... I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika-chan, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me, and I'm still the one getting comforted. Wait. Hold on. Anshan, the truth is, we had both you and Mika-chan come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're really not that interested... Hey, I didn't... Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. Ooh hoo hoo, this bitch. What? You're so mean, Anshan. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anshan. We won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though, and even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh. I mean, I'll take the money, fuck it, but... I was kind of fucked. <sighs> I really screwed that up. You're outmatched. Yeah, let's go with that one. 
Yeah. But maybe it's because deep down, I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. Anyway, I totally ruined the shoot. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? It had grace. Do you think oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know, though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Tell me more. Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. I figured that much. Yeah, I mean, come on. Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into positive energy going forward. Give me confidant points, goddammit. Well, I guess right. we can roll with that ability. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm going to try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I should go stop by and see Shiho at the hospital. Thanks. Yeehaw, I guess. Bye. That could have gone better. In all honesty. It truly is just one of those days. Ah, you're back. We didn't even get like an opportunity to talk on the phone there. So, what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about a catchy coon, right? I know how you feel. Oh, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we changed another person's heart. Perhaps. Definitely. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave a catchy coon be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. What do we got going on here? We can hang out with Yoshida. And uh, I, think I think Ryuji wants to do some fucking darts. If you're down and you want to go right now, definitely use a break, but it's good research for our next target. I just can't sit still. What do you want to do? I mean, we can play darts with Ryuji. But we can also hang out with Yoshida and get that shit taken care of, you know? Work on that confidant. Get that out of the way. I guess I'll I have to give it some thought. Like and I guess we'll uh, wrap it up for this session. Get a good uh, two episodes or so out of this one. And uh, again, I am feeling a little better, so I can actually work on some other videos as well. So thank you all for coming out. Thank you, One Fime and VP. Yes, TV station. You are absolutely correct, One Fime. Uh, thank you guys for coming out to the live recording session. And thank you to everybody that watched the videos here on YouTube. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, any of that other fancy shit. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for, uh, for tuning in. It was fun.